During the majority of the pandemic, the idea of limiting our kids' screen time was nearly impossible. How are they going to communicate with their friends? The school was now online. And board games and puzzles, well, they just lost their excitement pretty quickly. As a result, most parents threw screen time limitations out the door. Now that we are back on track to a new normal, I thought it would be good to revisit the screen time issue. In today's video, we're going to review how much screen time is too much. We'll review the recommended screen times for babies, toddlers, children, and teens. And then we'll also see, is this affecting our children and in what way? Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman, creator of the Dad University Parenting Program. If you are a dad of a young child and you want to go from overwhelmed and confused to calm and confident parent, my course can help you. I'll put some information in the description below. Let's talk and see if you're a good fit. For recommendations on screen time, I reviewed the guidelines from the World Health Organization as well as the American Academy of Pediatrics. A lot of times when these guidelines are discussed or written about, they're in combination with the amount of activity that a child has. And the concern here is that if a child is in front of a screen, then they aren't playing, they aren't moving around, and they aren't getting the physical activity that is so important. In addition to the likelihood of less activity, the substance of what is on the screen can also have a negative impact. Whether it be violence, sexual content, or even just advertisements, parents need to be aware of what their children are looking at. There is also concern that excess screen time can cause sleep problems, mood issues, or spending less time with friends and family on social activities. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, kids ages 8 to 12 spend on average of 4 to 6 hours per day on screens. For teens, that number jumps up to 9 hours per day. That means that for teens, they spend more awake time on a screen than not. There is a big discrepancy between the amount of time that our children spend on screens and the recommended time from these organizations. Let's review what the experts say. Screen time for babies. The World Health Organization says that any child under one year of age shouldn't really use a screen. Now, the American Academy of Pediatrics did have a similar recommendation, but recently changed it and instead said that any child under 18 months, the only real screen time they should have is video chat. So that means they get to see the facial expressions, they get to interact with another human being on the screen. They recommend avoiding using the screen as a pacifier or a babysitter. And we all know that's easier said than done, as it's very easy to keep that little one occupied with a screen. Screen time for toddlers. The American Academy of Pediatrics says that for children 18 to 24 months, it really should only be educational programming. Any screen time for a child this age should be done with a caregiver. Letting children use the screens by themselves should be avoided. For ages two to four years old, the American Academy of Pediatrics and the World Health Organization have both recommended that we limit the screen time to about one hour per day. The American Academy of Pediatrics recently modified their recommendations to be one hour of non-educational programming per weekday and up to three hours of non-educational programming on the weekends. Screen time for kids and teens. For ages six years and up, the American Academy of Pediatrics used to have a limitation of two hours per day. But with the changing world, those limitations were just not realistic. So they modified them. Now the push is to encourage healthy screen habits and to limit activities that involve a screen. So as parents, if they aren't providing us specific hours, how do we know when our children are having too much screen time? If you do have a child that spends what you feel is a lot of time on a screen, then you're going to want to see, are they having behavioral problems? You know, are they not getting good sleep? 
Are they delayed in learning or social skills? These are all potential problems that could occur from too much screen time. So we want to take a look at the amount of screen time our child is getting and possibly modify that. As screens have become more integrated with our lives, it's really about teaching our children these healthy habits. Sure, you can spend time on the screen, but you also have to have a balance of off-screen activities. If you have a child that's pretty active physically, you know, they do well in school, socially they seem fine, they're not having behavioral problems, then the screen time may not be as much of a factor for them. Now, there are still ongoing studies about how screens affect the brain and our eyesight and our learning. Screens can affect different children in different ways. Now, the other factor to consider is it's not just the screen time, but the actual content of the screen. If your child is viewing content that is not appropriate for their age, that can also have an effect. So we have to be very mindful and monitor the content of what our children are looking at. The major takeaway here is that when you have a child that is very young, babies and toddlers, you definitely want to limit that screen time. And as your children get older, it becomes a combination and a balance of physical activity, how are they doing in school, and all of the other issues surrounding them, and balancing that with the amount of screen time that is okay. I would love to hear from you. How have you been dealing with your child's screen time? Has it been a struggle or are you finding it fairly easy to implement good habits? Leave your feedback in the comment section below. Also, it really helps us spread our message and get this video to more people if you give this video a thumbs up. If you know anyone that might enjoy this video, please share it with them. We'll see you next time.